Okay, so this happened today. It was rather interesting. Uh, this is my second take of doing this, and I completely forgot this happened when I was doing my little daily video. Um, so I rang up my mother, and I was like, Hey, Mum. Um, you know, I've left Woolworths, or as an example. You know, hey, Mum, i left Woolworths. And this healer answered. And she sounded exactly like my younger sister, who doesn't even live in Australia. Tech no, yeah, she doesn't. And I thought, who the hell is this? You know, she's like, hi, you know, someone's left his phone in the woman's restroom or, or Dunny's or whatever. You know, I, I have it with me at the moment. I'm just like, oh, crap. I'm like, this is actually happening. I was just like, oh, okay. Um, look, I'm David. I'm her son. Uh, I'm, where are you? You know, she's like, oh, I'm just at Myers. Uh, toilet, restroom, place. Um, I have your mother's phone. So, ah. And I just said, oh, okay, I know where you are. I said, I'm coming to pick it up, if that's okay. And I just said to her, you know, we were talking a lot more than this. But, yeah, I said to her, um, I'm on my way to come pick it up. Um, um, you know, just look for a... 28 year old with a motorbike helmet, you know, I said, I'll be standing outside the dummies and you know, I told her, you know, take your time, you do you and then come out when you're ready. Anyway, as soon as I got there, but I said I was 28. Ah, oh, my memory is so shit. I'm 29. I said, oh yeah, look for a 28 year old. That's me 29 year old. Not that it really matters, but yeah. Anyway, as soon as I got to, um, as soon as I got to the restroom, I noticed my mum, she was crying and upset because she lost her phone. I guess it's that important. But yeah, she was crying upset and she gave me a hug. There's my phone. And then after probably a couple, maybe five seconds after, I saw mum, saw the two young Sheilas walk out. I thanked her and they just, they said, that's okay. I'm glad I could help, you know. But, um... Yeah, yeah, so that happened. That was real interesting just to talk to someone, you know, she was trying to help. Very nice of her, you know. Um, also, I forgot to mention my bike ran out of fuel today. I always like to see how much fuel I can get on a tank, and I, I do know it's 160 kilometers. I mean, I think anything more is pushing it, but I thought, screw it, let's test it again. So I was riding and riding. I was riding and riding and I got to 167 kilometers and out of fuel. I thought I knew it. Around 160 kilometers, being an idiot, doing not the best fuel economy, I get about 160. So if I know I'm about 140, 150, I should get fuel. If I'm on 160, I'm extremely low. But that's pretty good. 150 kilometers on a 5.5 liter tank using a 250cc motor. Because usually they have uh, 17 liters, or 15 liters. I know they've got more than 13 liter fuel tanks, so it's pretty good. So that's the second part of my day. Um, it's been a few hours since I uploaded the main video. Uh, I've just been watching a movie called The Tailor. I don't freaking know. It's on Netflix. But, um, yeah, I don't think anything else has happened. I'm going to try and see if Dad wants to play slot cars. And, um, oh, yesterday me and Mum did the Unsolved Cold Case board game, which I will forget. But uh, it was pretty good fun. I did it with Judy and Greg, and we also did it last night. It wasn't as fun. My mum cheated. Oh, I shouldn't say cheated. She used all the hints up as much as she could. God, this camera looks so crap. It just, just doesn't focus. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. So I think I think that's all for today. Anyway, bye.